you you talk about advancement of technology that is coming and that these could these advancements bring the antichrist more so i believe the antichrist spirit is what's reigning right now mm. I, I believe yes that where the white the white horse is doesn't have bullets but I'll tell you, it has words, and mm -hmm. this this is the warfare of words right now, and and the in, the inventions and things. I'm curious to know what you're saying in this book. Could you share some of that? Yeah, well, there's several different things that I, I talk about. Um, one of them being uh, aerospace technology increasing drama dramatically over the next several years. Yes. And I saw that there was going to be the new frontier is going to be above, so space. And, um, so that the president is right when he says spaceport. We're going to have a spaceport. Yes. yes. <laughs> and I also talked about how I believe that 2019 is a transition year for women, mm. and going into 2020 to 2029. Mm -hmm. And this goes very uh, specific with this uh, influx of technology because I saw that there was going to be a woman that was going to go to the moon, physically go to the moon, and she would put her feet on the moon, and this would be a sign of um, this advancement in technology. And really there is a war, as you're speaking about, Jim, there's a war between uh, light and darkness and who is going to control these technological advances. Because every time that there's been revival and outpouring of the Holy Spirit in, in, in Christianity and culture, there is always supernatural advancements of technology. And we need to be on the cutting edge of what God is doing. And we need to be the ones that are actually taking control and controlling these new advancements in technology. Yeah. And um, right now, we may not even recognize it, but we're interfacing with, with technology as we speak. Our cell phones yeah. are interacting with us through talk and through the, the touch of our fingers. But what I saw that's coming, two particular things that I just want to touch on. One was almost like a mesh that, and a band that would go around the head and, and it would um, pick up on thought process. It would pick up on ele like electromagnetic thoughts and would project into the cell phones, wow. would project into. So it would go faster. The technology would be faster than typing or speaking. Mm -hmm. It would be as fast as thought. Mm -hmm. And the second thing that I saw was a was there was going to be as small as a contact lens would be able to go into the eye and you would interface with the technology instead of the phone instead of computers everything would be right as close as your eye and all and like i said all of this is going to take place when this woman touches on the moon but it's going to be those that control this that will either use it for good because i believe that god wants to bless humanity or we're going to see this AI technology that's coming mm. that is going to bring, bring what you're talking about, this, this the, you know, the uh, end time. <clears throat> I would say probably at least two, a decade or two ago, I met with the people from the number one university that trains technical people and television broadcasting using all the equipment and I sat down with the, the heads of that school it's a still a very famous school today and they told me that that uh, they're working on the fact that they're going to use your eyes as the lenses to take pictures with and, and that's what you're really talking about. You're talking about connecting. Yeah, it was a total uh, synergy with, the, with, yeah. with, with all, as thin as a contact lens, but it would interface with computer technology, with the Internet. And um, it was a way that they were wanting to, one side was wanting to control humanity, uh, but it could also be used for good to get, you know, things. And that's where it seems like this year, especially God is saying, you can go, one way or the other. You can go good or you can go bad. Yes. Yes. America can go, we've got tremendous potential. There is um, a real mandate upon Elon Musk 
but I saw a very, very difficult year for him this year. And um, it's depending on which way he's going to go. Hmm. Mm. He, I, I literally saw him yeah. on the edge yeah. of, of, of losing his life. And so there's a real, um, there's a, a real war for this man's soul right now. Wow. Mm. wow. And, uh, you know, God's pulling him in. And I believe, as we're, we're talking about the, just love, mm -hmm. I believe that it's going to be the love of Christ because the Bible says that the love of God draws a man to repentance. And some of these, some of these you know, supernatural, you know, technologically advanced people that are really on the cutting edge of, uh, of bringing advancement in, in technologies, they're looking to hear from the Lord. They need to hear from the Lord. They're either going to go to the psychic or they're going to yeah. go to the prophet. And we need to be on the cutting edge speaking into these people that they need to use the technology for the things of the Lord and not yeah. for the enemy.